All right, here is a quick video about how to convert one of these Honeywell ARDZ normally open zone dampers to a normally closed damper. Now, when you're using this as a zone damper, typically you want it to be normally open uh, and then it would power to close. That way, if for some reason your zone module went bad, maybe the actuator went bad, that this would default to an open state instead of closing, closing off airflow and potentially doing damage to your unit. But if you're using it as a fresh air damper, it's advantageous to have it to be normally closed where it powers to open because that's how a lot of fresh air damper controls work. Now the exception is the Haven IEQ system because they are so forward thinking, they give you a choice whether you're using a normally open damper or a normally closed damper, you set that up in their app. But let's say you're not using it uh, as a Haven controlled uh, out fresh air damper, you're using it for another uh, situation uh, like I am here in a future video, I'll show you how these dampers are being used in my attic, but you wanna reverse this. Uh, well, I'm gonna show you how, and you only need just a few tools. You're gonna need an Allen wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and maybe a pair of pliers. Just depends on how nimble and strong your fingers are. Okay, so the goal here is to make this damper normally close where it powers to open. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we gotta do is loosen this set screw. So take your Allen wrench, and you don't need to take it off, you just need to loosen it enough where the actuator is not bound to the shaft anymore. And this whole thing will slide off. Now in these dampers, you've got a bushing, on one side, which is where the rod from the actuator went through, and you've got a plug. You need to reverse these. So the bushing, usually if you've got strong, nimble fingers, you can push down on the catches, and you can push this bushing out. All right, there you go. Bushing's out. Next thing is the little plug. Now for this, you're going to need a screwdriver uh, because there's just not enough to work with back there, but you're just going to pop this off. Do your best not to and you've got the plug flip your damper around put the plug back in where the bushing went and put the bushing back where the plug went now here's an important step close your damper <laughs> and when you put your actuator back on you want to be pushing this closed because uh, you don't want any kind of gap to be there. It'll sort of try to open back up on you just because of the tension of the foam and all that. Another reason why I like these dampers, they got foam seals on them, really good. Other brands, uh, they don't have as good seals and you get a lot of air leakage. All right, you're gonna take your damper, my uh, your, your damper actuator. I've got my damper pushed closed and I'm gonna insert this right back the way it was now again, I'm pushing my damper closed because I want to lock this set screw in place with the damper really closed very well. So now we've got our normally closed damper. It'll take 24 volts to open it. And when it does, it'll open all the way. Now, here's the cool thing about these Honeywell dampers. You have choices on how far open that you want them to be. Or if you're using them as a zone damper, the way it came out of the box, uh, you can also set them up where they don't close all the way. So now, as a fresh air damper, as a normally closed damper, I just flip this little selector to three, and watch what happens to my damper. It didn't open all the way. And so let's say you have a fresh air application where if it opens up all the way, you're pulling way too much fresh air, more than the house needs, and you need to back off on it. This is a great way to sort of balance it. Uh, this damper is opening about halfway, and that usually will, one of these selections is going to do you uh, just fine once you actually measure the fresh air in the field. So, uh, again, just taking a Honeywell fresh air damper out of the box, reversing the action on it so that it's, from, it's not a normally open, normally closed instead. And I know there's going to be some comments in the section uh, about, well, you can just buy a Honeywell damper that comes ready to go for fresh air, uh, but it doesn't have this actuator on it, and a lot of times they're not available in the supply house. They come with other parts and a kit that you may or may not need. So that's why sometimes if you're in a bind, you can use a zone damper instead. One last note, we can't do anything about this, but the open and closed window here is going to be backwards. So a lot of times, just to not confuse somebody, I'll just... Uh, just mark over that with a black marker or something that way nobody um, gets confused by it or you can get a label maker and you can put 
open instead of close and close instead of open. Just one of those things you want to confuse somebody that comes in behind you. But hope this helps. Again, you don't even have to do this if you're deploying a Haven IEQ monitor and controller because Haven is smart enough to take a fresh air damper uh, or a zone damper right out of the box and use it as a fresh air damper. You tell it in the app what, if the damper is normally open or normally closed. Just another reason to use Haven instead of other IEQ brands because they know what we do and what challenges we face. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave some comments, questions below, and as always, work safe as I did this whole thing without any work gloves. Uh, try to work safe.